Hey guys, it's Erica and I have a few things to share with you. I'm hesitant to call it a haul because there's not a ton of stuff and most of it is pins, but Casey and I were just in Orlando soaking up all the Disney magic without stepping foot into a park. So that's for another video. Keep your eye out for a few more videos coming out with Casey and I sharing what we did, how we did it, and why you should do it too because we had the best time and like I said, did not set foot into a Disney park, but did soak up a bunch of Disney magic. So one of the things I will tell you we did is we hopped around to different resorts. The whole focus of our trip, trip was hopping around to different resorts, trying different food, spending time in Disney Springs. So just to kind of preview, but because of that, that is the reason I got as many pins as I did. I have four pins from resorts. Now, right now, during the holiday season, each resort has its own Christmas tree pin that has a few different things on it. One is going to be, I'll just show you one quickly. One of the things it is going to have, there we go. <laughs> um, this is the Polynesian pin. So all of the resorts have it right now. It says what resort it is down here, 2021 up here, and it is themed to a different character or movie. So this is Moana, and when you open it, you see Pua. So these are limited edition pins. All the resorts have these right now. Even the all-star movies that we stayed at, I did not get one at all-star movies. We didn't spend any time there, but we did spend time in four other resorts, like a good bit of time. So to commemorate that, I got a pin from each one of those. These are each $20 a piece. You can get your discount on it if you have different discounts. Three other resorts I got these pins from are the contemporary it has contemporary at the bottom a few cinderella icons on the front 2021 at the top and on the inside we have cinderella and fairy godmother very cute so the next one we have is from the riviera now the other two are monorail resorts this is a skyliner resort so here we have Mickey and Minnie theming on the outside, Riviera at the bottom, and when you open it, you have Mickey and Minnie standing in front of the Riviera on the little beach and Mickey giving Minnie a Christmas present. At the bottom, you'll see this little circle on all of them. That's a magnet to help them stay closed so they aren't just like flopping around carelessly in the wind. Just kidding, they wouldn't be in the wind. <laughs> but they do keep them closed, which I appreciate. And the last one, my favorite one, the whole reason I wanted to get all of these it's because I love Beauty and the Beast, and this is a Beauty and the Beast themed from Grand Floridian. And we open it, and we see Beauty and the Beast, and she is in her winter attire, which I love. So that was really fun. So those are four pens that I got. Um, like I said, most of this haul is pens, so I don't have much more to share with you, but stick around because there are more things than just pens. I just wanted to share these because this is going on right now if you're watching this during the 2021 holiday season. They also have gingerbread house pens where you can like, it's like a big rectangle and you can flip it open and see a gingerbread house or whatever with a different character. I personally liked the trees a lot better. So I got the little trees, plus the other ones are big and I wasn't trying to like fill my entire pin board with those. <laughs> so um, another thing I got during the Christmas season is I saw these right next to the Christmas tree and gingerbread house pen at Grand Floridian. I did not see it anywhere else. Nowhere else in Disney Springs, not even World of Disney, not at Pin Traders, nowhere. I kind of wish I would have gotten more, but also I'm kind of glad I didn't because money so they have mystery pin boxes for gingerbread houses and that would mean that you get a box for twenty dollars and there are two pins inside i will insert a picture here of what items you could get from it i was kind of hoping to get cinderella's i mean not cinderella rapunzel's tower with pascal in front of it or the up house or zero in front of his dog house or something like that um i really like the ones i got but i think i am going to do it as a pen trading pen or sell it on ebay for someone trying to complete their collection or something since i know these are hard to find but these turned out to be ten dollars a piece a box is twenty dollars and i got this donald duck so they all have a character with a um house of some sort behind them so this is donald and his house boat which is super cute i'm a daisy duck fan so like you think I would love Donald? I actually don't love Donald. <laughs> but I do think this is super cute and I like that right here. They have a little icing pack, which they have on all of them. This is the other one that I got. I got Goofy and I do love me some Goofy. A Goofy movie is my favorite Disney movie. And this is a house in the background with a little yellow icing pack in front. So very cute, very hard to find. Also got one more pin and then I promise we will move on from pins. 
So this is a birthday pin. They sold these anywhere and everywhere. I saw them at every gift shop at a resort. I saw it at World of Disney. I saw it at Pin Traders. I saw it everywhere. I got this one at Grand Floridian. It is nobody's birthday right now in my house, but I got it. It cost yellow. Um, I cannot remember. I know it was under $20, I'm pretty sure, but I can't remember exactly how much it was. The reason I got this is because in February, we will be in Disney for one single day and we will be staying in Art of Animation for one single night for my son's birthday. So I wanted to get him this to add to like a little gift basket, birthday gift basket that I'm gonna put together for when we get there. So I got that to go with that. I got a few other things. So I got my, I'll tell you first what I got my son. My son, if you saw the Disneyland haul video, if not, go watch that. It's just from last month. A lot of the stuff you can still get. It wasn't all Halloween stuff. But one of the things I got was a um, pressed penny book for Orson, my son, because he loves pressed pennies. He loves most to crank it. Now he wasn't there with me to crank these or the Disneyland ones, but he was still really excited to get them. He loves them. He loves to collect them in his book. So I basically filled his book for him because even though we didn't step foot in a park, there were a ton of pressed penny machines everywhere in these resorts. I had to eventually stop getting them. I didn't get anything from, I didn't get everything from every machine because there were so many machines. <laughs> so he has that somewhere safe because he loves it and he has put that away. He also got a wallet from this trip that I got him. He was not with me, but I got him a wallet. It's like a foldable blue Mickey wallet with little Mickeys all over it. I got that to hold his pennies and keep them safe while I was collecting them, but then also gave it to him because I know he'll be getting some Disney gift cards or some money to spend while we're at Disney in February. So I figured it would be good to have and he loved it. But like I said, he put those in a safe place in his room, which is why I don't have it. For my daughter, I got her this little purse. This is actually from the airport, the Disney store in the MCO airport before we left. It is a little purse. This gets longer, but she's one. She's 15 months old, so she needed it to be short, especially in our family, we're all short. It's a little purse. Now she recently got a purse from my mother-in-law that she loves, and I was like, hesitant to get this because I didn't want it to like take the place of that. She just got that and she loves it. And thankfully she still loves them both and she carries both around. She has a fake cell phone from the other one that we have put in here sometimes and she plays with both of them. She somehow even at 15 months old is the girliest little girl. The whole reason she even has a purse and stuff like that is because she started taking other random things she found around the house and using it as a purse <laughs> or as bracelets and stuff like that. Like before we even got her anything like this. So she's a cute little girly girl. But before we, Casey saw that in the airport, before we saw that and got that, I was like feeling bad because I know even though it was just pennies, it was a lot of money worth of pennies and something my son loves and it was definitely a souvenir for him that I was getting plus his wallet. I wanted to bring something back for my daughter, but she's 15 months old. There's not much she needs. And I just couldn't find things that fit her in her size that I did like, and so I was just having a hard time with it. Well, then Casey reminded me, she we had seen this as an advertisement on a bus, but she had also been seeing it a while with other people in our agency going and getting these free necklaces. So if you have a little girl, I will leave the name at the bottom of the screen of the place you can get a free necklace if you bring your daughter in. Now she was not with me, but Casey was just like, hey, we're trying to bring home a souvenir. She is not with us. I promise this is gonna go to a little girl. Can we get one of the necklaces for the little girls? And he gave it to us, the manager, he seemed like he didn't believe us at all, but he still gave it to us. <laughs> So um, this is it, it is costume jewelry. So I haven't actually given this to her yet. I'm curious to see what she'll do. I'm gonna have to film it. I'm sure it'll be really cute. But that is what I originally was gonna bring home for her. And so obviously I still did, but I haven't given it to her yet because I kind of forgot about it when I got the purse for her. But just a fun souvenir you can let a girl get or a boy or someone that's not with you, whoever you want really can go try and get this necklace as long as it's a kid with you. Cause like I said, he didn't really believe us and he was hesitant, but he did eventually, eventually give it to us. Another thing that I got that was free is just a gift card. So this does not have any money on it. The cashier man, cast member at the Riviera Resort um, while we were checking out was like, hey, do you want one of these too? And Casey was like, no, thank you. And I was like, uh, yes. So I grabbed one of these. It shows all the parks on it. It's free. It has no money on it, but like a fun little 50th thing to kind of commemorate that we were there. Just to like put in the scrapbook or whatever or load money on it because we will be going again during the 50th. And then I have two more things to share with you. Um, 
I did get my husband's stuff, I promise, but it was food. And it wasn't like bad food that I can share with you. It was just really yummy food from places that we ate, like Gideon's and stuff like that. So I promise I didn't leave him out, but just not really anything to share here. However, there will be another video about Gideon's and all those other like fun snacks that we ate that you should definitely try. So keep an eye out for that. So I have a Pandora bracelet. I have had my Pandora bracelet since 2010, so 11 years when I graduated high school. I have it, I don't ever wear it. Not because I don't love it, but because it's too big, way too big. I'm getting that one cleaned up. I'm gonna either wear it as an anklet or sell it or something, I'm not sure yet, but I wanna start a Disney bracelet where every trip I go on, I get a Pandora charm, which if, side note, if you have the Disney visa or annual pass holder or whatever, don't get your Pandora charms from the Pandora store, or maybe you can, like maybe I'm wrong about this, I haven't straight up asked Pandora, but just from reading like what I can use my Disney Visa on, I don't think you can use it in the Pandora store. But you can go into World of Disney or any other like resort hotel shop that sells Pandora jewelry or even lounge flies, anything like that. You can use your discount on these designer things in those stores. So I was able to use my Disney Visa discount on my Pandora jewelry. And in Disneyland, I used it on my Loungefly. So definitely check that out. If it's something you can get at a designer store and at the Disney store, get it at the Disney store so you can definitely use your discount. But anyway, back it up a little bit. This trip, I got this Mickey head. There it is. And he's just a plain Mickey head. They have a plain mini and they also have pretty much the same Mickey and mini that are plain except with bedazzled ears. There I am. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Anyway, um, I just didn't get the bedazzling. It was one, cheaper to get this one. And two, I know that I wear my jewelry all the time and it can get kind of roughed up a little bit. And so I didn't want one of the bedazzled gems to fall out and leave a black hole and it be ugly. So, I knew that was a high possibility that that would happen for me, so I just got the plain one. I wanted a Christmas one. They had a box of three Pandora Christmas charms, but you had to get all three together. It was over $200. One, they were cute, but I wasn't totally in love enough to spend that much money on them at least. And they had another one that was like a Mickey and Minnie with a present that was cute, but again, not in love with it. And if I'm gonna spend the money on it, it doesn't have to perfectly match what the trip was. Like I want it to, but I also would rather love the charm. That is what I got for this trip's charm. If you want to see what I got for myself on the last trip, the Disneyland trip, I did put that in the Disneyland haul. But also, I will only be buying myself one charm per trip. But my friend Casey can get me all the charms she wants. She got me this charm to commemorate our trip together to Disneyland. Now this is my Christmas gift from her. It is a Mickey pumpkin, it's so cute. I wanted this so bad. They did not have it in Downtown Disney at the Pandora store or World of Disney or at the dress shop where they sell Pandora charms. So I got a different one and she knew that. This says boo on the back. I really, really love that charm. And I am so excited to get my new bracelet for Christmas. Um, I'm actually gonna try to buy it for myself on Black Friday and like stick it in my stocking or something because my husband I'm pretty sure was gonna get it but I also would like rather him save money on it. So I'm waiting for a good Black Friday sale. But also, um, I want to clean up the other one. I just don't think I'm gonna add these to that one. I think I am just gonna wait until I get the new one to make sure it fits. And last but not least, I got one more thing. Where is it? Oh, Crocs. Here they are. I hate Crocs. Do I love these? Yes. These are sandals. They are still Crocs. I'm gonna get this Crocs tag off of it eventually, but I mean, you'll still know it's Crocs. It's fine. But I swore I would never get Crocs. Now our kids have Crocs, like Croc clogs to slip on to go check the mail, whatever. Like if we just need to run out the house for a minute. My husband and I do not. We do not like Crocs. We think the crog, the clog Crocs are hideous, so I'm sorry if you wear them, but I now own Crocs, so I better stop saying stuff like that because never say never, right? These are, like I said, they're sandals. These were $60. I did use my discount on it, my Disney Visa discount. These were at World of Disney. Did not see them at any hotel, any other store, anywhere. Doesn't mean they don't have them or won't when you look, but they didn't have them that we could see when we were there. We both spotted these in World of Disney and Casey and I both got them. They were the best purchase. They are so comfortable. I wore these on my 
horrific 14 hour journey home. <laughs> Don't wanna talk about it. But I was wearing tennis shoes earlier that day and those were hurting my feet. I had foot surgery about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, 12 years ago. And ever since then, like my foot is still a little bit messed up after like a few days of walking and that's when it happened. These were a lifesaver on the way home. I was a total goober and wore socks with them because I was going from Florida to Colorado and I needed socks on. <laughs> Plus like on the plane, my feet always get cold. And I didn't want to walk barefoot in the airport when I had to take off my shoes to go through security. So anyway, these were an amazing purchase and I have no regrets, but I will, I do feel like I can say I will never get clog Crocs. Sorry if you wear them. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It's just not my thing. So that is it. That is everything that I bought. Um, I didn't go crazy this trip. Most of it was pins. I tried to keep the pricing low. I used my discount whenever I could. Again, in the comments, let us know if you're interested on the types of discounts and tips and tricks we have for saving money, even if you're not an annual pass holder, because we are not as much as we would love to be. Um, we would be happy to make a video for you about that and also keep an eye out for videos about what we did on the monorail and the, um, Skyliner and hopping around resorts and Disney Springs and all the fun things you can do and try and eat without stepping foot into a resort. Thank you for watching. Please stick around and watch more videos from us. We are trying to get back at this. So we really appreciate all the support, the likes, the comments, the saves, the subscribes, anything at all is a huge help. Thank you. See you on the next one. Bye.